Hello and welcome to our channel Mariners Point. So today in this video we will be discussing about some tricks and formulas for the profit and loss. So in a lot of questions comes from uh, profit and loss segment also. So in this video we will be discussing the main formulas and some tricks to solve the questions easily and in less amount of time. So there are some basic concepts which everybody knows that uh, this is um, profit is equal to SP minus CP where SP is the selling price and CP is the cost price so and loss is CP minus SP then if we have to find the profit percent it is given by profit by CP into 100 then if you have to find loss percent loss by CP into 100 then for finding SP if the gain percent and CP is known so you can find SP by 100 plus gain percent by 100 and CP then SP is equal to if loss is given then 100 minus loss percent into 100 into CP then CP if there is if you have to find CP and SP and gain percent are given so it can be 100 by 100 plus gain percent into SP and if loss is given so loss and SP is given so CP is equal to 100 minus loss percent into SP so these are some basic concepts so these formulas needs to be remembered so that you can solve the questions very easily Next, there are some uh, tricks to the important things which are asked generally in the competitive examinations. Like if there is a, the first is a dishonest dealer claims to sell his goods at cost price but he uses a false weight of lesser weight. So in this statement means that uh, there is a dealer who is selling his goods at cost price. Like he buys an item at 100 and selling the item at 100 only. But instead of using the actual weight, he is using the weight which is less. So which means that he is actually sell, selling the customer a, a less weight uh, according to the question. So in that case, you can find his gain percent by true weight minus false weight divided by false weight into 100. The next is a shopkeeper sells an item at a profit of X percent and uses a weight which is y percent less so find his total profit now in this case the shopkeeper sells that item already at a profit of x percent and at the same time he is using a weight which is uh, y percent less than actual weight so in that case the formula will be gain percent is equal to profit percent into less percent in weight by 100 minus less percent in weight into 100 so it will be better understood with an example so here we can see an example a shopkeeper sells an item at a profit of 20% and uses a weight which is 20% less so here is already selling uh, selling a profit selling an item at a profit of 20% and also he is using a weight which is 20% less than actual so if we can find the gain percent using percentage profit this formula so it will be simple the percentage profit is 20 and the percentage less weight is also 20 so 20 plus 20 by 100 minus 20 to 100 so here you can see you can find this answer very easily in a short interval of time so next is when dealer sells goods at loss on cost price but uses less weight now here it says that the dealer is selling the good at loss but using less weight which means it like in this example, a dishonest dealer sells goods at 10% loss on cost price but uses 20% less weight, yeah, which means that he is selling an item or selling a goods at 10% loss. So, suppose for example, his CP is uh, CP of the item is 100, so it is selling that a particular item at 10% less, which means 90. So, he is he bought that item at 100 rupees but he is selling at 90 but on top of that he is also using 20% less weight so instead of giving customer 1 kg he is actually giving 800 gram that is 20% less so on uh, in that case we have to find his per percentage profit or loss so this will be given by the formula Per profit or loss percent will be percentage less in weight minus his loss percent 100 by 100 minus percentage less in weight into 100 so 
there is 100 loss he is selling the good at 100% loss so that is percentage loss will be 10 and he uses 20% less weight so percentage less weight is 20 so we will put simply put the value percentage less is 20 so we will simply put the value 20 minus 10 upon 20 into 100 so answer will be 25 by 2 percent so if this sign comes up to be positive here you can see it is positive so he has gain, gain uh, a profit of 12.5 percent but if the sign becomes negative so it will be loss of 25 percent so the profit and loss will depend upon the sign of the answers then next is uh, a dishonest dealer sells goods at x percent loss on cost price but uses a a gram instead of b gram so his profit or loss percent will be so here it is saying that a dealer is selling good at x percent loss right he is selling the article or the price good at a less less than cp but instead of using a gram he is using the b gram so what will be his percentage profit and loss so it can be understood better with an example so let's take an example here here you can see a dishonest dealer sells products at 10 percent loss on cost price but uses 2 gram instead of 4 gram so here it is saying that he is already selling at 10 percent loss on cost price but instead of you but uses 2 gram instead of 4 gram so to weigh an item for 4 gram he is actually weighing 2 gram so in that case if you have to find the profit and loss percent so it will be given by the formula 100 minus loss percent into original weight divided by altered weight minus 100 so here loss percent is 10 so here we can see 10 the value will be loss percent 10 original weight so original weight is 4 gram his value is 4 and the altered weight so the changed weight is 2 gram he is using the 2 gram instead of 4 so altered weight is 2 so the, now the simple formula is 100 minus 10 into 4 by 2 minus 100 so which comes up to be 80 percent so since it is positive so it is he is gaining 80 percent profit next on uh, in the similar way if it is given that uh, here it is given 100 percent loss on cost price if it is given that he is selling at a 4 percent profit so that formula will be here instead of 100 minus loss percent it will be 100 plus gain percent so you can here use the formula like uh, in a subkeeper uses 940 gram in place of 1 kg he sells it at 4 percent profit what will be the overall profit or loss percent so the formula you can see here 100 plus gain percent upon 1000 by altered weight so actually here it is 1000 written because it uh, here it is given 1 kg uh, it can be the original weight so whatever the original weight will be there in the question you can write that and the altered weight so altered weight is 940 gram so here it will be 940 and percentage gain is 4 percent so overall the formula becomes 100 plus 4 uh, into 1000 upon 940 minus 100 is that comes to 10.6 percent so since the value is coming to be positive so it he will be gaining 10.6 percent so there are some other tricks to the complicated problems in order to ease the process so if there is if the price of an item increases by r percent then the reduction in consumption so that the expenditure remains same so you'll get a question like uh, the price of sugar is increased by 10 percent then how much uh, the consumption should be reduced so that the expenditure remains same so in that case you need not to do anything just put up the formula the increase in percentage is given by r so r upon 100 plus r into 100 percent so that will be the reduction in the consumption next is if the price of a commodity decreases by r percent then increase in consumption so as not to decrease expenditure on this item which means that the price of commodity is decreased by 100 percent sorry for this so here we are back
so here it is saying that if the price of a commodity decreases by r percent like right? the price is decreasing by r percent so if the price reduces the uh, so we can increase the consumption but not to decrease expenditure on this item so we are not decreasing the expenditure on this item which means that uh, earlier we are buying it for 100 rupees for a item a family is expend a family is expending 100 rupees now if the price is decreased so suppose in the 100 rupees they were buying x kg now if the price is decreased so they will be in, in if for the same 100 rupees they will be able to buy x plus certain more amount x plus y kg right so not so if you have to find what will be the per uh, increase in consumption so we can give it will be given by this formula r by 100 minus r into 100 percent so this will be the increase in consumption so that the expenditure remains same now next is a reduction of x percent in price enables a person to buy y kg more for rupees a so which means that if there is in if there is reduction of price x percent in price so it enables a person to buy so he is now able to buy y kg more for the same amount then if we if you have to find the reduced price what will be the reduced price so it will be given by x by 100 by 100 y into a and if in the question it asks what is the original price so it will be given by x by 100 minus x into y into a so you need to remember this formulas so that you can directly apply when whenever the question comes next is when there are two successive profit of x percent and y percent then the net percentage profit will be so if there are question is like if an article is um, an article is sold at suppose an article cost 100 rupees and if it is sold at x percent profit and then again that article is sold by um, y percent profit so now the total profit will be given by x plus y plus x by y sorry x plus y plus x y by 100 next is when there is per profit of x percent and loss of y percent so in here it, it was profit in both case now if it is shared with if it is spending 100 rupees and he is gaining x percent profit in first case and in second case he is having y percent loss so in that case the net percentage profit or loss will be given by x minus y minus x y divided by 100 so this this formula will also hold true for the discount percentage so if in the question it comes that there are two successive discounts like a subkeeper gives 10 first 10 percent discount then again 10 percent discount so for the two successive discount you can use this formula x plus y plus x y upon 100 so these were some basic formulas for, for the profit and loss questions which will come handy when you are solving the problems and using these formulas like here you can see these formulas it will be very easy for you to solve these questions within a less amount of time so as usual i will be putting a link in the description for practice test so you can practice in questions based on these formulas so that you will be able to do it in examinations because uh, as long as you practice it you will be able to remember these formulas and you will be able to use these formulas effectively when it comes into exam so you will find the link for the practice test in the description and if you face any problem in the question please comment in the comment in the um, video i will try to solve that out thank you